One challenge when teaching grammar rules can be to keep the lesson interesting. Students are usually bored by memorizing lists of rules, and this often leads to low retention. Here's one activity you can use to practice grammar rules that will keep your students engaged and especially appeals to kinesthetic learners, a board race. My class has been studying the different forms of comparative adjectives and today we're going to do a board race to practice them. I'll list some of the words we've studied on the board. Some take the ER form and some take the more form, so I'll make columns for these two forms on either side of the list. I'll break them into two teams. One person from each team has to run up to the board and write a word under the correct column depending on which form it takes. Then they run back to their team and hand the marker to the next person in line who runs up to the board and does the same. We will continue until all the words are categorized. The team that is finished first wins, provided their answers are correct. At the end, we'll correct them together and I'll have them make some example sentences just to make sure they not only understand the forms, but are also able to use them correctly. One thing that can go wrong in this type of activity is that the students walk rather than run to the board. So I'm going to offer a prize to the winning team to encourage competition and keep them motivated. So now we're going to play a game. It's a race, okay? Woo! Right. So we have a list of words. You need to choose which column the word goes in. So for example, small, when we're comparing two things, does it become smaller or more small? Smaller. Very good. Smaller. It becomes smaller. So what you need to do is write the full word smaller in okay. this column, okay? Or in whichever correct column. And whichever team wins gets chocolate. Woo! Okay, so we're going to do an example. First one is an example. Okay. Ready? Ready? Ready. Set. Go. Woo. Okay, and then I go back to the next person. Okay. Okay. Good job. Let's get rid of this. That was an example. Okay. Are you ready? ready. Yeah. Get set. Go. Go, go! <laughs> go, go! Go! Go, 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 team! Oh, it's close. Mexico is more dangerous than driving in USA. In the USA. In the USA. Good job. More expensive, is that correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Jack, can you use more expensive yeah. in a sentence? My car is more expensive than BMW. Whoa! A BMW. A BMW. Very good. <laughs> more useful, is that correct? Yes. 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 Very good. Amir, can you use more more useful in a sentence? Uh, yes, uh, my cell phone is more useful than my laptop. Very good. Shorter, is that correct? Yes. Yes. Anna, can you use shorter in a sentence? Yes, your skirt is shorter than my skirt. Very good. <laughs> okay, this team is the winner. <laughs> As you can see, board races create a very dynamic class and are highly versatile. 
Other variations might be to have students categorize sentences by verb tenses, conjugations by person, or regular versus irregular verbs. But this activity is not limited to grammar. The possibilities for doing this activity with vocabulary are nearly limitless. Also, don't be afraid to be creative. Instead of writing the words on the board, maybe you could have the words on index cards with sticky tack or have students place realia in boxes labeled with different categories. There are countless ways you can design your own board race. Want more videos like this one? For over 100 how-to videos on teaching English as a foreign language, check us out at tefelvideos.com.